Hi everyone, John Peitzman here at JP, and it's my privilege to welcome you to another episode of The Build Show. I, of course, am the creator of The Build Framework and the host of the show where we transform lives one guest at a time. And we do that, how? By having amazing guests. So let me tell you about the amazing guest we have here today. John Hemming is a senior management consultant with experience in planning, growing, and exiting small to medium enterprises. For nearly two decades, John has supported fast-growing companies as the CEO of Unity Management, a boutique Sydney-based strategic management consultancy. He is an expert at defining and aligning the business vision with the right business strategy, the systems and the culture to deliver outstanding commercial outcomes. He has a wealth of experience, and over the last decade, he has delivered over 250 strategic plans and well over 100 business improvement projects, and he's worked with companies of all sizes. John is a successful and published author of The Secrets for Business Success, and he joins me here today to talk about how the concepts contained within the BUILD framework have helped him not only obtain success, but sustain it in his personal and professional life. John, thanks so much for coming. JP, thanks for having me. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, great. Well. Let's talk about what, first of all, excites you and that you're sure. working on right now in your life as you sit here today. Yeah. Look, today in business and what we're doing with technology is it's just absolutely fantastic. It's never been a better time to be in business and using technology that can be enabling and disruptive at the same time. Right. And for SME business owners, you know, it's uh, very affordable too. Um, you know, some of those economies that were previously uh, reserved for bigger companies is now available to everyone. So it's just exciting time, and I love technology. Right, but you don't have to have a background in technology to make technology work nowadays. Correct. I mean, that's the exciting thing, right? That's it. So that's very exciting for the whole world, actually. Yes, yeah. of course. Well, as you know, we talk about the BUILD framework here, right? Yeah. For those of you in the cheap seats who haven't <laughs> heard about <laughs> the BUILD framework before, and you can go to thebuildframework.com at any time to get the book, get the course, and all these things. But really, BUILD is an acronym, of course. It stands for BUILD Relationships, Understand the Business, implement strategies, lead and inspire, and deliver excellence. And what we do is we just kind of walk through that process, starting with, of course, build relationships. So yeah. I have a build relationship question for you, my friend, sure. which is, what is one of the most important relationships that, that you've had in your yeah. life? Okay. And why was that important? Well, look, I had to say, I've, this question I found a little bit, um, you know, there's so many, I've had, I mean, I've been blessed to have so many great people in, you know, influence me, but I had to say, I, I would have to say if there was one person that has really helped me was uh, the professor at the university that, um, you know, where I did the MBA um, all those years ago, who really, um, I suppose, you know, gave me the insight that it's really important to have that right business model and, um, but also have um, the right people involved in businesses and growing the business and capturing that value whereby the business owners can actually then sell the business further down the track. Right. You know, and I think we see so many businesses in, you know, that, that really aren't uh, uh, capturing value like that. And they're just, you know, um, often they're, you know, run by people who are very good at what they do, but the businesses, you know, aren't really maximized for, for sale and taking that longer term perspective. Um, and um, yeah, so, so look, he had a big, really big influence on me and obviously right. strategy and the importance of business modeling. Right, well it's so important, I mean teachers in our lives, right? I mean, yeah. that's the inspiration, right? And in a way we right. kind of all teach others, but professors, I mean that's their yeah. job, right? To inspire, yeah. so have you told him how important the relationship actually. was? I have okay, actually, great. and yeah. I'm regularly in contact with him. Right. And quite a few of them, I ha and I mean, he, I mean he, he was actually a strategist and um, uh, you know, and but with massive uh, corporate experience, right. so very practical as well, and um, you know, and and that really underpins all the work that we did. Right. You know, it was all about experiential learning and uh, you know, case studies and based on real life uh, businesses, you know, corporates. Right. Um, and you know, it was it was incredibly incredibly insightful. You know, and then I suppose look, the really empowering thing was that many years later, it was only probably two or three years after. Uh, you know, I, I graduated that I actually went out and implemented a lot of these different. Um, right, so it takes time sometime to realize the value of That's right, the and I could really, right. well the relationships and, and, and what we were taught, I suppose. Right. 
that it really did work at, right. a, at a very powerful level, you know, where you just follow process, right. you know, in business and while they're unique and you approach them very differently, it's, it's incredible where you, you know, you have those fundamentals um, applied in different ways right. to different businesses. Yeah. Which follows the process too, right? To understand the business, right? Because Correct. you build the relationships and then you understand the business based upon Correct. that. So what is one yeah. understanding of the business that you think is really yeah. critical for the listeners to, yeah. to hear about today? Yeah, JP, look, I think if I had to say one thing, it's really building the business out from the customer buying preferences, you know, and, and what customer are we servi servicing, you know, and delivering products to, and, 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 and also why are we in business? I think those two things together are incredibly in enabling. And if you're constantly trying to solve that problem and do it better, um, you can only deliver great value. Right. So what would you say about, because you know, build is not just about business, which is great sure. for, but it's also sure. about personal transformation, right, yes. and application. So yes. how would you apply this understanding of, you know, the quote unquote business and yeah. what we talked about so far with building relationships, how that leads to understanding yes. the business to your personal life? Yeah. Look, when it comes to my personal life, look, I think people are central to your success in every way. Right. You know, um, I've had a partner for many years who's, you know, supported me through everything, she's just absolutely fantastic. Um, but look, what you realise is people in your network and people that are, you know, you're employing as part of your, your team and your staff, you know, if you look after them and those relationships, they then serve your customers right. better than... Better Tenfold, than, right? I better, mean, That's it. Exactly. And people say, oh, the customer's always right. And while that's true, if you look after your people, right. they then serve the customers in a in an absolutely fantastic way, you know, right. more than more than yeah. you know, you could ever instruct as a manager or as a director. Yeah, absolutely. No, well stated. So that leads us to implement strategies, of yeah. course, which is you build relationships so you can understand the business more, so you can implement yeah. the right strategies. I'm really excited to talk about this with you because you're like the the strategy guru, right? <laughs> of right. all these things, both business right. and, and everything you've done. But yeah. what when you think about, and we could talk, you know, for hours about this, but if you yeah. just pick one strategy yeah. that you'd like to share with our listeners for their you know, yeah. implementation in their lives, um, what, what would that be, or your understanding of the, the importance of implementing strategies? Yeah, at a personal level? Yeah, either way, or, mate. I yeah, mean, I mean, I maybe think, one of each, right? Yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah. sure. Look, I think when it comes to implementation, you've got you've to commit to excellence and accountability right. and get really clear about what you're doing. You c and, and I think the thing is, if you're pivoting a business for growth, um, you really can only do one or two things. So that's where getting that strategy right is, you know, is so crucial, where you've got limited resources to then... Um, so you're saying too many people try to do too many things correct. at once? Is that kind of a correct. pattern you see that's, yeah. Correct, and you know, invariably in high growth, you know, the businesses are, are very business with activity, running the day, daily, daily business, but there's a whole lot of things that they need to do to actually pivot the business past where it is now. Right. So I, you know, what I've seen over the last 10 years is you just want to do one or two key, key things of change. Don't try to do everything, you know, and make that a success. And then, you know, that's a continual improvement in, right. in growth and, 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 um, and systems and, and uh, stability, creates right. that stability. Awesome. No, that's, that's really good. Yeah. How about any strategies to have balance? A lot of people talk about struggling with balance, right? Yes. Both across business and actually this whole work-life yeah. balance that, sure. you know, people kind of uh, frame it as. But are there any strategies that you've learned throughout your experience that can help people with that? Great question, JP. I mean, I think, <coughs> you know, balance, there's no such thing as balance in high growth. You know, the business is taking off. You know, the yeah. tiger is running down the street. Yeah. You're basically Can't let go. Tower, right? <laughs> so really then it just comes down to, uh, I suppose, personal techniques that you can use. And look, what I know is, and it's been fantastic for me, is the, um, you know, uh, joining the 5 a.m. club, you know, with morning routines, right. getting up at 5 o'clock, um, hydrating properly, eating nutritional food. Right. Having the right habits in place. Having the right, right habits in place, uh, doing some light exercise, coming to that as a fallback position every day, planning the day ahead the night before. Yep. Real basic stuff. But, you know, when everything else changes and things are really exploding in a good way yep. in growth, um, you know, it just puts you in real good stead. Right. You have structure, right? You, have you your got structure. Plan yeah. your work and work your plan, right? In That's that it. order. <laughs> That's right? it. So, which brings us to lead and inspire, right? Yeah. So, what are some of the key elements that allow you to lead and inspire yeah. so effectively in, in, in your life? Yeah. Look, with my teams, I'm all about, I suppose, 
being really clear about why we're in business, you know, right. why we're here, what are we doing, what value. So important that why. Right? Yeah, yeah. And whether you call it the vision or the business objectives or, you know, the customers that you're serving, it's really, really crucial to understand, you know, what value are we exchanging and what, what's our long-term mission. Um, and I found that with the right people on board and, and just um, uh, sharing that can make a massive difference. And obviously I've seen it in all the implementation projects that we do. Right. So we're really vision first and aligned with what the customers want and then build the business systems and the alignment out of that. And then, you know, one of the key things is you don't need to then bother about competitors, for example. Right. You know, because you just... You're just doing your thing. Correct. Right. So you're not trying to knock down other buildings. You're just building the tallest building for yourself or whatever analogy you're, you want. Correct. Use, right? Yeah, with your own right. people, exactly. doing it your own unique way. And that yeah. becomes your uniqueness. Right. And your competitive edge. Right. Because there is no competition if you're just embracing your uniqueness. Spot on. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Which brings us to deliver excellence, right? Which yep. is where all the build elements come together. But what does delivering excellence mean to you? And how do you make sure that you continue yeah. to deliver excellence in your yeah. life? It's a good question. I mean, I think we've got to be really clear about how we define excellence. So whether it's, um, you know, sometimes it's just showing up. Right. <laughs> you know? That'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. you know, I've got guys on my team where, you know, they, they run their own show, you know. Right. And uh, they, they work irregularly, but they are just fantastic at what they do. Um, you know, or it could be, you know, hitting a certain amount of KPIs or just, just really simple goals. Um, or it could be just being customer centric. Right. Uh, but, you know, I think for me, it, it is having discipline, having those rudiments, but just being clear about, you know, what we all agree to do and the accountability. Right. I mean, you, would, you would have found that yourself in, yeah. in all the work you've done. Yeah, you know, That absolutely. accountability is, 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 is crucial right. as well. But yeah. yeah, and we talk about that. I mean, really, delivering excellence, if you tie it back to the build framework, is when all those elements come together, right? You build Thank relationships you. so you understand the business, right, you implement strategies, you lead and inspire, and all of that, if you're doing that, yes. you're delivering excellence, right? And yeah. uh, that's what we like to you know, yeah. push towards. And, and it's so important to have those habits in place, though, like you talked yeah. about, to really you know, it's good to have this vision, but if you're not actually showing up <laughs> every day <laughs> and doing the work that you need to do step at a time, then it's only going to be a philosophical thought Correct. instead of a, an experiential journey, right, yeah, that you can have. It. So finally, my friend, I always ask this yeah. question of my guest, which is the words of wisdom question, yeah. right? So it's really about the best bit of advice that you might have for our listeners out there sure. that you're compelled to share as you sit here today. Yeah. Could Look, be anything. Yeah. Yeah, no. Could no. be a joke. <laughs> 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 Might not be. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, look, I think, I think what it is for me is that, <clears throat> you know, you really want to, um, I suppose, for the business and for yourself, you know, ident identify what your strengths and weaknesses are and really hire your weakness as quick as you can. Right. And I know that's an old cliche, but it's so true. Right. Get but help get someone else to do it. That's Don't try it. to build that up. You know, there's an epidemic on, in the past of focusing you, on weaknesses. Them? Yes. Right? And like trying to make it. It's like, no, focus on your strengths. Yes. Someone else's strength is your weakness, right? Correct. Pair up. And then you can shoot to the moon, as that's they say. It. Yeah. No, I think that's amazing advice, especially nowadays when a lot of people are focused on. It doesn't mean necessarily ignore it, yes. right, if you want to make it a little better. But, yes. right, you hire it out, then you can propel that momentum. That's right with a lot more success. That's yeah. great. And, and as you know, you know that <coughs> the opportunity cost of you not doing what you do great right. is, is like a, it's like a double, double whammy. Right, because you're whammy. taking away from that. Correct. Plus you're not doing the best job that you could That's in right. that other space. And we see it in the programs in all the business development projects that I've done over the years. That's, uh, it, that is a, it's, it's very insightful. And it, you know, a business can just pivot on that alone. Right. You know, just redoing the strengths and weaknesses for Absolutely. the business and for and the directors. Absolutely, focus on the strengths. And then, and then you have that aha moment right. and, then you, and then you resource around that or just eliminate things that the CEOs aren't good at or right. shouldn't be doing. Right. And their load, you know, their, their, their workload lightens and they're doing more of what they love and right. passionate. About. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing advice. Thanks for sharing that. Hey, finally, is there anything you want to say about your services or anything else you want to share with the listeners, how they can get a hold of you? Yeah. I mean, what yeah. do they do if they want to reach out to you? Yeah, sure. Look, um, if you'd like to know more about what we do and, um, you know, I think from where I stand and all the work that I've done over the years, I think to get help is really important, you know, whether it's with me or with somebody else. Um, and, you know, if you want to get in contact with us, we're doing uh, free 30-minute uh, consultations. Uh, so just jump on the website. You can register there and... 
um, you know, it's just a no obligation chat okay. around. And what's the website? Yeah, uh, www.unitymanagement.com.au. Great. Um, and yeah, we can have a discussion about what you're trying to do and, you know, uh, what's worked before and, and, um, and really pull out some of those blocks. Awesome. Know? Great. Well, I hope so. everyone takes you up on that amazing offer. And of course, if you want any more information about The Build Show, you can go to thebuildframework.com where you can find everything about The Build Framework as well as future episodes of The Build Show and everything else, a wealth of information. So thank you, John, for thank being you, on the Jay, show. Thanks. Such thank a you, pleasure sir. to have you. Absolute pleasure. We'll see you pleasure next time well. on The Build Show. So if you turn to page 60, it's really important.